All right, it's Gartner Day 3, and look who are with me, Tristan Mayer, CEO of Castadoc. Uh, Tristan, welcome to The Robert Show. We've been in touch since forever, I feel. Yeah, Since absolutely. the early days of Castadoc, right? Exactly. And I have seen all the growth uh, at Castadoc, and love the growth, and love what you guys are doing. All right, it's really nice to see you today in Orlando. Uh, yeah. Really happy to have this chat with you. Same and, here. Uh, indeed, it's been a, uh, yeah two, three years, maybe a bit more than three years we've been in touch. So yeah. really happy that we finally met in person, which exactly. is why we're here in Orlando to meet people in person. And I'm really Way happy to, to talk about this with you. Way too. So uh, just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself and tell us a little about Castadoc as well? Yeah, sure. So I'm uh, Tristan Meyer. I'm the CEO and co-founder of uh, Castadoc. Yeah. Uh, I'm a former data scientist, so I used to be a Kind of the other side of the screen, uh, working with data. Uh, but then I quickly find out about one of the big issue is that I had access to amazing technologies, amazing cloud BI tools. Um, but then I was still spending half of my day on Slack, pinging more senior people about where I'm supposed to start. So right. that's what we're trying to resolve with with Castadoc. It's a data governance, business glossary, data lineage, um, accessible for everyone who uses data. So uh, that's what we're doing at Castor. It's been three years we've been around and uh, proudly growing here in the US as well as in France, where we're coming from and as you might hear from my accent. <laughs> I get it. Okay, awesome. This is good information also in terms of, I know Castor Dog is to also talking a lot about AI. In the world is talking about AI. Everyone is speaking yes. about AI today. So how do you see it integrated in the product and uh, how do you see the interaction between data governance and AI? Because I feel these are two important aspects that are meeting now. Yeah. Right? So can you tell us a little about that? Well, first, data and AI are really, really tightly, tightly linked. Uh, I think everyone here in the conference is talking about how important it is to have good data foundation before you can build anything AI. Right. And obviously, governance has a huge stay on that, about the reliability, the quality, the importance, the uh, the context around the data. Right. So obviously the first thing that it does to the data governance people is that it increases the scope and the importance of their job in this new AI era, having right. to manage the data as a foundational piece to any AI project. Yeah. So obviously that increases their job and their scope a lot. The other thing is the other way around. It can help them as well do their job in a better way as it automate a lot of the work of data analysts, of data people, as well as business users, is gonna impact the way data governance people are working and are doing their daily tasks. So classification, description, all of that can be automated in a way with AI. So there's a dual relationship of obviously it increases the scope and the importance, the fundamental of the data governance job, but it's helping them as well right. to be quicker and more efficient. Okay, this is very good, uh, good information in terms of uh just, just following up on that question itself, so in your opinion, why is data governance so important for building a reliable AI assistant or AI copilot? Yeah, so AI copilot for data analysis, for analytics, uh, it's about, it's supposed to, it's the dream we've always have dreamed of, is yeah. getting the answers from a natural language question. Yeah. Now, today, even without AI, before that, data analysts have already trouble understanding and getting consistent in their answer. Like, what is account ID? What is revenue? There's already an issue. Right. How can AI be consistent and relevant and trustworthy if analysts cannot be, cannot be today? So that's why governance is the really basis, defining the right concepts, defining the right entities, obviously for analysts, but then for the AI that's going to be plugged on top is super, super important. So it's really fundamental to any assistant or copilot that's going to be built. And that, and that is for all the vendors out here, like the future of the data experience. Love it. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, you know, just follow up another question on this because you know, on this topic of AI Copilot, how do you see it helping, you know, the traditional uh, problems of adoption in catalog? Yeah. So I think it's, I think it's killing the need for catalog. Actually, yeah. I think it's totally revolutionizing the way people interact with the catalog. So it used to be with a Google-like search. It used to be having to drill down through the metadata. You almost had to be a data expert to use a data catalog. Tomorrow, you will interact with it, solving all the classic issues that data catalogs have been built for, which is about discovery, data discovery. So right. tomorrow, you'll right. be able to ask, OK, where can I find data about this? And just ask this question, and it will provide you with the right answer. Same way, if you're talking about lineage, as a non-technical person, sometimes you have questions about how things have been computed or where they're coming from. If you look at the lineage graph, that's pretty technical. 
if you ask AI about where is it coming from, it's going to be able to summarize the lineage graph, all the transformation that has happened, and give you an answer, just like if a data analyst would give you the answer. So instead of interacting with the technology, wow. it feels like you're interacting with a data expert, fully knowledgeable of your stack, just like a catalog is, of your metadata, and of your governance concepts. So again, the definition, the policies. So it's revolutionizing this space for sure. It's getting fast. Sure. It's getting, getting very really, fast. really fast. I love it. Tristan, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, folks would also want to reach out to you, learn more about cash to doc Where can they learn about cash to doc if they want to reach out to you? Which is the best place? Can you tell us? That? So obviously on our website, castodoc.com. Okay. And on LinkedIn, uh, feel free to add me. I'll answer most of my DMs, so I'd be more than happy to get in touch with uh, anyone who's interested. Fantastic. This is great. Uh, thanks for all the insights today. You're at Gartner, and it was such a pleasure to have you on the Ravit Show. Yeah, thank you, Ravit. Thank Love you very much. Awesome, thank you everyone.